Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Riffs. Welcome back to Pixark on the 2x2 server. Today, we're going to take a quick trip out here into the frozen biomes going looking for castles because I am tired of using copperbone gear and I cannot be bothered to make some better stuff myself. Oh, I'm actually hot out here. Wow, okay. So I can probably use the copperbone shirt. Yeah, there we go. Nice and even. So we're going to look for some better armor. We're going to try and raid a couple of the castle chests that you've probably seen me do in single player if you watch that series. And if you haven't, check it out because it kind of it, it shows a little bit more of the progression here. We're skipping over a lot of stuff here just to kind of get a little bit OP, get into the place where we can do some more fun stuff on this server with everybody. And I kind of want to uh, <laughs> I want to get ahead to more or less where I'm at in my single player world a little bit earlier than I otherwise would. So, oh, we're hot going over the river. Okay, right, yeah, so we'll be back in the frozen lands and looking for a castle that the chest will be easily accessible. I don't know exactly where the castles are in this frozen biome yet, so it'll be interesting finding that out, but we need to take a quick dip down here. The ice elementals, I think, are friendly, or at least passive, so they're not going to attack me mid-flight here or anything. So, yeah, we should be able to find a castle with a nice convenient chest on it that we can grab some stuff and it's a bit of a potluck sometimes we'll just get like ammo and stuff like that occasionally you get chainsaws and things and i'm not sure if anybody else has been out here yet presumably not but kamikaze might have been if he's been online mythical sausage might know a little bit about these guys already and uh, i'm fairly certain everybody else is still just trying to get their flyers under control <laughs> figuring that side of the game out where are the castles i'm fairly certain i've been teleported to a couple of them by portals here and there so we could risk going through one of the portals but half the time when the portal says frozen biome it doesn't take you to a frozen biome and and vice versa when you think you're not going to the frozen biomes you are so yeah who knows it's a bit of a potluck with portals at this point but i'm sure they're out here somewhere i'm sure there must be a castle somewhere around here and we're flying deep into the heart of this particular biome so I guess here's where we find out whether or not the Ice Elementals are friendly or not. So it looks like they are. They look a little bit like Baymax from Big Hero 6. <laughs> kind of really reminds me of uh, of Baymax. Got the big glowing eyes. Oh, they're so fun. Now, if we fly out in the northerly direction, we're going to stick around in this, this frozen land. So, Quetzals are everywhere. We do need to get a Quetzal at some point. And once again, those are the ones that you can't pick blocks. So I just need to be a little bit aware of the taming cap for everybody. And of course, I need to be level 70 before I can even make a saddle. Right now, I'm level 59 or something like that. Like, I'm fairly close to 60. Oh, 57. Okay, so not quite as far along as I thought. Uh, not quite far enough that I should have steel bone gear. But hopefully, when we find one of these wretched castles, we might actually get to acquire some. Well, there we go. We found one. And it only took a few minutes of flying around and it turns out that basically the southern half of this is where you want to be looking for when it comes to castles because I flew around pretty much the entire northern section of the map and did not find a single one. So this is definitely going to be castle territory from here on downwards and I'm really hoping that the same thing hasn't happened here that happened with the other ruins where an absolute ton of enemies has spawned in a small amount of space. I've parked my Tyranid on too close to the chest. <laughs> I can't get it. There we go. Hop off here, grab what's in here, and okay, it's <laughs> it's what I was expecting to get, which is a chainsaw and a bunch of shotgun ammo for a shotgun I do not currently possess. Never mind, let's keep looking. Let's see how many castles we can find in this video, and hopefully we'll score some decent gear. They exist. They exist. Castles are not a myth. And what do we have in chest number two? Let's find out. Oh, an actual shotgun to go with all that shotgun ammo. Fantastic. All right, I will take that. I'll take that and fly away with it. Oh, and castle number two is... Oh, and, and three and four? Wow. Okay, we have a castle district on our hands, folks. There it is. Oh, and there's a fifth one over there. Fantastic stuff. All right. It looks like we've hit the jackpot right here. Is that... A okay, that's just the corner of that one. I was thinking... A sixth castle would be asking a little too much at this point, but let's open up the map and let's take a quick look at the cowards here. X36, Y655, 656. There we go. The Z coordinate is up in this game. It makes no sense. These guys don't know how axes work. But anyway, we have we have ourselves our third castle chest and the fourth and fifth just around the corner. Don't want to fall off this roof. That would be 
pretty suicidal at this point. Two more shotguns. <laughs> These guys apparently like their firearms, which is kind of strange considering the castle is made out of ice. You wouldn't think you would want fire around, but there you go. Is that a sixth castle or is that the one we just came from? Oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, at least two more chests over here. to. I think that was the one we just came from. So at least two more chests over here to raid. Fantastic. I will try not to fall off the roof in any of these. Who knows? Ah, that's what we're looking for. A steel bone shirt. It's only primitive, but it'll do. Let's take a look at how much this increases my armor right now. Because we have 12.4 insulation at 8.6 armor. Steel bone shirt. Where did you go? There you went. 16.1 armor and 18 insulation. So a little bit better. We're, do we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's head over to that last castle and see what we get. And maybe round up a couple more if we can before we call it a day here. Let's go. And picking up all of these chainsaws and firearms and heavy stuff, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get unencumbered. Uh, I'm going to get over encumbered here because uh, my Tyrandon cannot take a huge amount of weight. Okay, we can still fly. That's good. I'm probably. It's probably going to be for the best if I. Ooh, if, if I avoid the dark forest biome, first of all, because there are ghost dragons there. But also, if we try and fly back to spawn right now, because otherwise I'm going to run out of. I'm going to run out of space in my inventory. I'm going to be incredibly over encumbered. The shotguns alone are like 15 points of weight. So three of those right now, that's 45. That's that's quite a substantial amount. <laughs> so we better take these back to spawn. And oh, that's a ghost dragon right there. Okay. Okay. Diving down into the river here. Not taking any chances with that. I do not want to be followed by one of those. And now we're getting warm again. So let's try and switch out our armor real quick. I want to keep the boots on, but then the pants can go. Okay, and we'll follow the river out to the sea. We'll get back home that way. Hopefully that should be safe from any ghost dragons. Oh, let's fly through this little aperture over here. Let's do that. Get cold for a second here. The direwolves are probably going to try and lunge at me. And this game is really pretty. I've got to say, this game is actually kind of pretty. I mean, look at that sky above us. <laughs> look at the... It's kind of cartoony, but in a good way. And I think this should bring us right back down into Spawn Town. There it is. Fantastic stuff. Right, I'm going to throw some of these shotguns and chainsaws and things into a chest over here. And then maybe we'll hand them out amongst the group and see what people think of the firearms in this game. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm still kind of on the side of melee weapons. I still think the Ice Spear is my favorite thing in this game. It does just as much as a Steel Bone Sword a lot of the time. I think that is that is pretty good going. This is my, my little chest of goodies down here. I haven't really got a huge amount of stuff in there right now. Mostly decorative things here and there. But two shotguns. Both alike in dignity. <laughs> and I think this one here has the highest damage rate. But the yeah, the rest of the stats seem to be more or less the same. So we'll put those in there. I've got like smoke grenades and poison bullets and all kinds of stuff we can put in there. I still need to make myself a light gun because light guns are actually really useful. And then steel bone helmet. Let's put that on as well. So take a look at the armor we've got right now. 36 with that copper helmet right there. But if we add the steel bone one on top of that... 42. What a good number. <laughs> Life, the universe, and armor. Fantastic. I will pop the two copper bone things in there, and the copper bone shirt can go in there as well. We're getting ourselves kitted out here, folks. The linebacker look is back in, and i got to say, the steel bone helmets do look a little bit goofy. They've got these kind of giant mole teeth on the front of them. They look a little strange, but you know what? I think we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with having a slightly odd look if it means having better armor. Now, I have never actually used a chainsaw in this game yet. I don't really know what the advantage to that is, because it says it can cut down trees quickly, but let's face it, the axe can cut down trees in basically a single swing. So I don't know how you can really get quicker than that. I don't know if it's going to provide you with a little bit more resources as a result, if you're going to get like 40 wood out of a single swing instead of just like 15, 16 at the maximum. I don't know, but right now we don't have the means to create gasoline because I do not have any barrels of oil. And that's all you really need. You need barrels of oil and a smelter to get gasoline in this game. And once we have those, we are up and running. But I have not seen any petrol slimes anywhere. They're probably down here in the caves somewhere. Maybe these caves under the ocean might have one or two. There's a couple of fireflies down here, which is nice to light our way a little bit. Let's see if we can track down. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Are there any petroleum slimes around? I'm not seeing any. And this cave kind of tapers off. Oh, there's a, there's a Titanomurma drone just kind of hanging out at the end of that cave. No idea why. 
We're going to leave him to his business. And yeah, looks like we're not getting any petroleum slimes. I think they have to be pretty far down as well. So maybe we'll need a deeper cave. The one that way leads to a frozen biome. So that's not going to be super useful. So we'll, while we were here at spawn, I might as well show you guys Mythical Sausage's house. Because this is an amazing little build. I gotta say, like, Sausage is an incredible builder in Minecraft, so I did not think he was going to disappoint when it came to Pixar, and he really hasn't. Look at this. It's really nice. You've got the, the, the foundations exposed over here, so it looks like it's on stilts, which is totally the aesthetic for this kind of place. I love the fact that he's got this kind of castle keep tower incorporated into the thing, and he's got the stairs up in there as well, and this little fenced-off area. It's so nice. And this is the Sausage Keep. <laughs> Make sure you're watching Mythical Sausage's videos from Pixar if you have not seen them already because he's making some really good stuff in this game. He's got a great sense of humor. He's a lot of fun. If you haven't seen his channel, he was in my intro video as well. So I recommend going and checking him out. And we'll try and get a couple of collabs with him in future. But like I said, recording schedule a little bit hectic right now because of family visits. So we will do what we can. But in the meantime, I think that's been enough for this episode. We've raided a few castles. We've gotten our first little taste of the end game gear. Look at that. <laughs> Looking cool in our weird biker helmet with the teeth and the sunglasses. I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pixar on the 2x2 server. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.